Hey everybody, welcome to Keys Moz. I am on No Name Key on this incredible private property. This is a big quarry here on No Name Key. And I've got my lights set up, connected to my generator. Guys, we are going to, sun's going down. No seams are biting. Sorry, it's very buggy. But we are going to see what comes to the light. Uh, guys, we're doing a, a, an evening of moth collecting on No Name Key. Uh, I've got some lights on Big Pine too. We'll get that set up. Um, and I'm going to hang some bait traps and some light traps that will be in probably other episodes. But, guys, take a look. Well, let's see what moths come. This is May. It's been a little dry, um, but everything's lush and green. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we get here, guys. Let's check it out. All right, guys. Just pulling into No Name Key. And I'm in my spot. It's a light. I'm going to get set up, but cool thing there's this tree is in bloom here i don't even know what it is and right off the bat we've got a cool butterfly this is euphius brunia floridensis the florida dusky wing and it's well it flew but it's it was nectaring on this little this little bloom here i just forget what the name of this plant is but uh i'm sure I'll find out shortly, but cool, man. Right off the bat, we got butterflies. Um, there's a lot of noceums. Um, I'm going to go down this trail, put out some lights and uh, some bait traps. We're going to be happy. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm excited about this. This is a Florida Keys Iomoth. And uh, it's a big female. And I'm gonna try and see if we can get some eggs and raise this girl because that is a cool moth right there, guys. Let's see. Florida Keys Isle Moth. Um, different subspecies than we're used to up in the mainland. Let's see. Nice, beautiful female Iowa moth. I'm going to put her in an envelope and see if she'll lay some eggs for me. Um, because I've actually never bred the Florida Keys version of the Iowa moth. So I'd love to document the life cycle and see if we can get some cool images of the life cycle of this beautiful moth. I'm excited. That's a great first find. All right. Well, there's not a whole lot happening. But... I got that eye on moth, and there's a nice Pluto Sphinx here. Never get tired of seeing the Pluto Sphinx. It's a nice fresh, fresh specimen there. Uh, let's see what else we can find. We got a, some kind of uh, epidromia. Things are really buggy, but not the kind of bugs that I'm looking for. We have a, uh, that's that poison wood feeder. Two of them. Uh, gosh, getting rusty on my names, man. Okay, well, there's activity coming in anyway. We got activity, y'all. Not a lot, but something. Okay, well, there's a cool one. That's a really tight, fresh Protambulus strigillus. Street Sphinx. This feeds on poison wood. It's got these beautiful bright red, brick red hind wings. It's a beautiful moth. So that's our second 
sphinged species for the night. It's been slow, guys. It's like... All right, guys. I did a moth collector fail. Um, my generator extension container somehow was not, it was not sucking gas from it when I came... I went to this I went to go get some sleep. I was exhausted from all the driving. Went to go get some sleep, came back, and the generator was off, which really sucks because usually that's when you find your most bugs. So there's there's really not a whole lot on the sheet, but there is a few things I want to show you guys real quick. And this is probably one of our cooler moths down here in South Florida. This is Pseudocarus minimus. It's a tiny little wasp moth, and it's a day flyer, but they do come to lights, and they've got this, it's a, that looks like a wasp right there, guys. It's got these tufted legs that kind of look like a wasp as it's flying, and the, even the antennae, everything about it looks like a wasp, but we, they do come to lights. This is a male, I would, I, if it was a female, I'd take it and try and get eggs and do the life cycle, but... Um, cool bug, tiny little guy, probably a little bit more than an inch wingspan. Um, so that's cool. P cool bug number one. There's a geometrid, which I will have to identify later, but always cool seeing geos. And now this guy is this little red guy here is Benessia ferva. It is a, it's a micro moth, but only found in Dade and Monroe counties. And they can be common, but um, I think it's a cool bug because you don't see them anywhere else in the nation except in the southernmost Florida. So um, other than that, there's not a whole lot sitting at the sheet. At least there's a few things. There's a, was that Watson eye? Little micro, I forget the genus. Okay, well, let me look, take a quick look around. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. That's cool. Well, at least there's minima. But that's it, guys. That's. Well, let's see. It's a little knock to it sitting on my light post. Something makes me feel like it. I, I missed. I didn't miss it by much. I probably it probably ran out of gas just a little bit before I got here, and uh, it was just enough time for all the moths to skedaddle. So, anyway, guys, um, we're gonna try again tomorrow night. Uh, Thanks for, thanks for watching. Sorry that it was not the most successful evening, but uh, give me a thumbs up. We are going to come out here tomorrow night again. Check out this quarry. It's pretty cool. Saw a crocodile out there. That is cool. So <laughs> maybe we'll see him again tonight. All right, guys. Take care. See you soon.